Welcome back. Question number 10. It says a uniform rod of length L rests against a smooth roller. This is very important point. This is a smooth roller. Okay. I will tell you the difference between the smooth roller and and a simple wall. Okay, as shown in figure 3.69, find the friction coefficient between the ground means this one between the ground and ladder. Find the fric fric friction coefficient between the ground and the ladder and the lower end of the minimum. If the minimum angle of the rod can make with the horizontal theta means for theta min for theta min we need to find out f friction this friction okay so that is the problem now we will start it takes some better color okay now this is fine yeah take this problem this is uh, already there but let me make a diagram once again this is the wall but here we have a we have a ring we have a ring this is what a smooth roller we have a roller right and we have oh sorry ground we have a ground over here okay and this is my ladder this is ladder okay see what is the difference here if we have a smooth roller then normal here should be in the direction of means here direction 90 degree to this line right that's the difference between the roller and simple simple wall if it is simple wall if you have a ladder over here the normal will work in this direction if you have a roller here if you have a roller and you have a ladder here then normal will work in this direction that is the difference between roller and simple wall if it is simple wall that is a normal if it is a roller here you have a wall but you have a roller over here yeah, right uh, if it's a roller then normal will act in this direction okay let's take this one as a in one and here also you will you get some normal from ground that should be equal to n2 and the mass mass of this mass of this rod mg or weight of this rod mg angle theta if this is the angle theta you take this take a component here one in this direction and another in this direction okay this one should be this is 90 minus theta this should be theta okay if this is theta this should be n1 cos theta n1 cos theta n1 cos theta and this should be n1 sin theta okay now just simply balance the force fx direction and y x direction and y direction total y direction for n1 cos theta and n2 means n1 cos theta plus n2 plus n2 should be equal to mg okay that is equation number one equation number one and then you will have a force in this direction you have a friction in this direction which is f okay so f should be equal to n1 sine theta f should be equal to n1 sine theta n1 sin theta this is equation number two okay now we need to balance the torque we will balance the torque now what's the torque here this is the n1 
and first of all for torque we need to choose a proper point let's assume this is point A and this one is point B so it from point B only one line of force is passing which is N1 right and for point A means through point A two lines of line of force is passing which is N2 and F then I will take a moment of force about point A right torque about point A or moment of force with respect to point A so take the moment of force with respect to point A it means we need to find out the distance from the line of force to this point so we have a two force one is N1 and the distance between A and N1 would be this length okay this total length is L total length is L and this length should be means let's take X this length is X okay this is X length and then if N1 into X N1 into X should be equal to N1 is trying to move this system in this direction okay and mg take mg here mg will try to move this ladder in this direction mg into the this distance this is the line of force then this distance from a to t what is a to t this is theta this one is theta angle and this one is x this should be if this is x this should be x by 2 right is it fine if this is x this should be x by 2 is it right to assume I guess not because this is the midpoint of this whole length okay and this should be L by 2 then total length of ladders L this should be L by 2 L by 2 and this one we need to find out AT AT should be L by 2 cos theta L by 2 cos theta okay N1 X is equal to L by 2 cos theta now you solve this two equation we have a, a three equation and what we need to find L by 2 cos theta into mg sorry I forgot this this should be multiplied by mg okay we have f is equal to n1 sin theta you put this value over here you will get n2 right this n2 put n1 cos theta here you will get n2 you solve this equation and you will get n2 in terms of theta right and you put this value over here f value over here also we know this height from b to o from b to o this is h it means 10 theta r you can say sine theta is equal to h by x sine theta is equal to h by x we know this relation okay now we have uh, approximately four yeah four equations and uh, four unknown if we solve this equation we will get the proper relations okay let me solve this for this one first you simply solve this equation you will get n1 now you put the value of n1 into the first equation you will get the value of n2 okay let me write the value of n2 so we got n2 now n1 n1 should be f by sine theta okay this n1 or you can say f is equal to n1 sine theta f should be equal to n1 sine theta n1 sin theta what is n1 n1 here is mg l by 2h cos theta sin theta so f should be equal to f should be equal to mg l by 2h cos theta sin square theta okay now we need to find out the mu the so mu f mu f is equal to n oh sorry f is equal to n to mu 
this is wrong f is equal to n to mu and then your n means mu should be equal to f by n2 we have f we have n2 just put it here you will get the result we have f we have n2 f by n2 should be mu this is what we are required to find out okay next see you in the next